Today we're going to talk about four big advantages to trust planning. Hello, my name is Richard Barrett. I am an estate planning attorney here at Smith Barrett and one half of the estate planning guys. So people have talked to you about a trust, maybe a neighbor or a friend has put their assets into a trust and they're very happy about it, but you ask them what the advantages are and maybe they can't tell you exactly. They just feel comfortable that they have peace of mind. Well, that's not unusual, but there are some serious advantages to trust planning over will planning. We're gonna talk about four of those today. First, probate avoidance. A lot of people want things to go more smoothly when they pass away than things would go if there was a will. The good news about probate is we can avoid it entirely in most cases. Any assets that you have that you put into a trust are non-probate assets. Your life insurance and your 401k or IRA likely have beneficiary designations, so those wouldn't be probate assets. So those you don't have to worry about in terms of probate and other assets you move into the trust will not need probate in order to move them from yourself or your own estate when you pass away to whomever you want to have. A lot of people don't know that probate, at least in the state of Georgia, is designed by statute to take about six months before we're really distributing assets. If this is some unknown, long, faraway relative that you're not expecting anything from, that might not be a big deal. But let's say you're a parent with kids. If both parents pass away or the key breadwinner passes away, we don't want our loved ones to have to wait six months before we can distribute key assets just to keep groceries in the fridge and electricity going at the house. So probate avoidance is a big advantage. Another advantage, there are some tax advantages. Now with a revocable living trust, we are talking about tax advantages in terms of estate tax planning. Right now, as we film this video, the estate tax exclusion amount, the amount you have to give away in order to trigger estate taxes is around $13 million per person. However, we expect in the future that may go down. Congress and the president could change that basically with the stroke of a pin. So in anticipation of that and for further flexibility, we build into our revocable living trust the ability to take advantage of both spouses estate tax exclusion. So instead of the first spouse passes away, everything goes to the remaining spouse, then that spouse passes away and they can only gift through their trust or their will enough to cover whatever the exclusion amount is. And if that goes down significantly, we could be wasting the exclusion of this first spouse who passed away. So there are some serious tax advantages to probate planning. Better control is another advantage. Most of our clients want to remain in control of their assets. We absolutely do that with the revocable living trust. But if you get to the point where you are incapacitated, your trustee can take over pretty much just like that and have control over the assets in order to use them to take care of you and to take care of your family just like you would. So better control is a key benefit. Finally, privacy protection. Now, most of us are not the Kardashians. We don't have cameras following us around in paparazzi, but still many of our clients say that they would rather keep their personal family business private. A will winds up being a public document. It has to be filed with the courthouse. That is a judicial process. And there is a way for people who are interested to get a copy of that will once it's filed, unless the court has sealed it for some reason. With a trust, a trust is a private contract that's administered by people you appoint before you pass away or become incapacitated. It does not need in almost all cases to be filed with a probate court or with any other court. So there are key privacy advantages there because the trust is not a public document. There are other advantages as well, but these are the four big ones we hear from our clients. I hope that's helpful to you. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more great information about how probate works, how trust works, and how it can benefit you and your family. Thank you.